Amen. Good morning there, and I trust that you are keeping just fine. Glory be to God. We are sharing truth this morning on abound in sacrificial giving. And this is coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, 1 through 7. We are warmly welcome to the Really, Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adeneko. This channel is packaged to inform and inspire you into a rich knowledge of the living God. Everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adeneko Center for Inspiration, the place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone to the, upon the crown of Jesus Christ. If you know that you are totally tired now of commonplace Christianity and you want to have the finest quality of it, this is the place to be. We are praying. Our God and Father, we bless you. Join the angels and the being of a praise, brings of a presence to bow down to say, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, who was, who is, and who is to come. In all that great glory, O God and might, we call you here this morning and receive help from you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 2 Corinthians 8 from verse 1. Moreover, brethren, we make known to you the grace of God bestowed upon the churches of Macedonia, that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded in riches of their liberality. For bear, bear witness that according to their ability, yes, beyond their ability, they were freely willing, imploring us with much urgency that we should receive the gift and fellowship of the ministry to the saints. And not only as we had hoped, but they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. So we urge Titus that as he had begun, so he would also complete this grace in you as well. Uh, but as you abound in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in all diligence, and in your love for us, see that you abound even in this also. Okay, then um, let's uh, pause and do and have a little uh, meditation. Okay. Um, glory be to God. All right. So <clears throat> it says that it was talking about the, the, the churches of Macedonia. You know, Philippi was one of the, uh, about the capital in that, in that uh, particular uh, environment. You remember how that he was uh, praising them, uh, people of Philippians, how that they ministered to him once and again. And then he prayed that prayer that we all quote, and my God shall supply all your needs. Okay. So that these are also people from Macedonia. So he says, look, I, I, I've, I've make, I make known to you the, the grace of God bestowed upon these people. They are a fantastic people. That was what he was trying to say. And um, it was a glimp, exemplified in Philippi. That was what I was referring to the other time. Now he says these people, they had a great trial of affliction. Okay, they had problems. All kinds of pressures were upon them. But in the midst of all their, oh, uh, he said they had deep poverty. Okay, they had economic problems, they had social, socio-economic problems and all kinds of problems. A lot of pressure was upon them. But in the midst of all the pressure, they still saw the need to contribute to support other people. And so it is not only of our surplus alone that God expects us to give um, either to other people, to other causes than our own cause, uh, to God, to the things of the Spirit, to moving the kingdom forward, or even just to be a uh, somewhat relief to some people who have um, um, had it worse than us um or even at times they are not even worse than us you're just about at pass in in terms of the pressures that we have still you can support people um by the grace of god so i was saying that i i i testify of them uh that in great um abundance of joy it must be supernatural uh, they have deep they had deep poverty but they abounded in liberality according to their ability in fact beyond the ability they were freely willing imploring us with much urgency in other words they were really really pressuring us receive this thing go and give the other brethren even when paul and co felt that ah, you yourself you have needs don't worry about our own needs go and give this other brethren it's a, it's a lovely spirit and paul was writing to the corinthians letting them know that this uh, that's another region letting them know that the people of this other region they did so well they are fantastic and he was referring to them and let me say this 
Uh, it's, we, we, we need to use um, the testimony of one group of people to encourage ourselves or to encourage the other uh, group of people. Some other person will take exception and say, oh, uh, he's comparing us, uh, we are not the same and this and that. When something good is happening on the other side, we can learn from it. You can be inspired by it. Instead of you know grumbling and murmuring and saying that uh, uh, people are comparing you and things like that. Okay, it says the, not only as we have hoped, but the, first of all, gave themselves to the Lord and then to us by the will of God. Look, it is important that when somebody says, oh, I want to support you, I want to do this, be ensure that that person gives himself to the Lord, commits himself to the Lord. That is number one. Um, whatever else he wants to do is on top of that. He can do it after that, but let him commit first to the Lord and then Paul went and then to us, you know, by the, you know, by the will of God. You know, uh, in other words, they committed, they, they pledged their support. They became partners with Paul. And believe me, in, in the work of ministry, you do need partners. Like I'm talking now, we also do need partners. Um, these are people Paul was referring to when he says they gave themselves to us. Okay, that's what it means. It wasn't as if... Uh, um, they became servants of Paul or whatever. He was talking about support. He said they gave themselves first of all to the Lord and then secondarily to us by the will of God. That is very, very important that uh, you ensure that uh, even when you are getting support from somewhere or some people have become your supporters, they are doing it in the will of God. They are sure that God led them to do it. They are not doing it because you have uh, sugarcoated stuff and therefore they are feeling emotionally uh, involved and uh, all that they themselves think that at the end of the day, this is good mathematics for them <laughs> not quite so uh, it must be in the will of god let it be, be sure that god is leading you in that direction to support in that manner praise the lord you know so um um Okay, then, so we urge Titus. Remember that he was talking about Titus earlier on. We urge Titus that as he has begun, so he would also complete this grace in you as well. Okay, in as much as you wanted to us to take and give to, send to these other brethren who are not so comfortable with, so the times of peace, let them, let them, let them contribute what they, what they want to do. Okay, and he said, but what you know, you are bound in everything. You remember that we said this about Corinthians, right from Corinthians 1, they are bounded in everything, in faith, in speech, in knowledge, in diligence, and then in your love for us, see also that you are bound in this grace as well. Giving is a grace. <clears throat> giving is a grace and um, Paul was encouraged them, encouraging them to abound in this grace as well. In other words, even when something is a grace, it is up to us how to do in the grace, how to do within that grace. We may abound in the grace, we may you know, we not employ it so much, we may um, take it for granted, we may take it in vain, we may um, be lackadaisical about it. You know and all that it says that you know since you have all these other things in this grace also make sure that you do well and you are bound already they were already you know they've been very very impressive you know and even on, on top of that paul was still saying try your best to just keep it up and do very very well to the glory and praise of god um let us leave it here and just uh, uh encourage ourselves that we must be people of whom god can be proud that's it at the end of the day whatever it is we do we must be people of whom god can be proud and may god help us at that in jesus mighty name let's close it here this morning have a wonderful day thank you very much